Hi guys, welcome to the video. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how we can build this no-code automation uh, AI cold email outreach using NA10. So I'm gonna give you the basic overview of this workflow and then we're gonna just start building this uh, workflow from scratch. So the first thing that uh, how this workflow triggers is using the Google Sheets. Once we add any data to the Google Sheets, so it triggers and then we add this filter node. What this does is, for example, if we have three leads here, it says new, new, new that means we only need to send these uh, you know emails to these leads so it should filter only those emails uh, which has a new status then it forwards to uh, this AI agent and then uh, this AI agent you know uh, just generates the uh, icebreaker using the system prompt and then once it generates the icebreaker then we add this node to add the icebreaker in uh, you know for every single lead here then uh, after that we need to send an email but before that we need to draft an email using an ai so i'm gonna uh, we are going to use the same um, any chat model so here we need to also send the system message to guide or train the ai to send to draft an email using the icebreaker so once we do that now uh since um the ai has sent us given given us the uh, email but it will not give you the subject and the body separately so this code separates them using uh, this javascript code so after that we need to send an email we set up any service like gmail so we uh, you know fill in these uh, steps and it sends an email now since the email has been sent we need to update the sheet with the status done you know this thing for example it means that uh, whenever you add any lead to this shift uh, sorry whenever you uh, add any lead to the sheet so it will not send um, the emails again to the you know leads which has already been contacted so this is it so this was the basic overview now let's go ahead and just start and you know build this overflow from scratch okay all right let's build this workflow so the first thing that we need to do is we need to add a trigger here so the first trigger is the google sheets since we have the you know data in the google sheets so we need to add an on row added or updated and here we need to add the uh set up the google credentials you can do that uh, yourself if you don't know you can just go on youtube and find any tutorial so once you do that you will be fetching the files from your google sheet uh from your google uh account actually so in case uh, in our case it's test leads and then the list uh, sheet one is uh sorry the sheet is sheet one since it's sheet one and then leave the rest of the things now we will uh, test the event so technically we should receive all those four uh, emails i mean the uh, leads so as you can see four items we have uh, you know grabbed all those four items so it's working fine now what is the next uh, node that we need to do what's the next step since uh, it's important this step is very important because um, since we have the four leads here but one of the leads has uh, the status says done it means this lead has already been contacted so we have sent an email to this lead but what we but the system doesn't know this uh, the uh, workflow doesn't know this so what we need to tell the workflow hey uh, we have these leads you need to filter those leads which says new which are the new leads okay so how do we do it we add the if node it means if this or that i mean if else you know um, so here uh, what we need to tell the system hey if the status says is status equal to new then you forward the leads first i mean to the next step so let's test it so in our case we should have three uh, three leads to be forwarded in the true statement as you can see true brand says three and the false says one as you can also see here as well three items from the true side okay so we need only true items so we will click on the true plus and here now we have already filtered out the leads now we need to add the agent we need to tell the agent hey now you need to you know uh, make the icebreaker for all the leads so we will say uh, click on define below now we need to add the prompt uh, to the to this agent but before we do that let's add an agent because we haven't added any agent yet so in our case we're going to use open router you can use any model which you like 
Okay, let's go. Now we need to tell the system. It's a system message so that we need to tell the agent, hey, you have to break, you know, make this, uh, generate this icebreaker as per our um, requirements. So I already have a prompt that I've just designed. You can copy this too if you want to, or you can use your own. Okay. So this is the prompt. Okay. So if we click test, so it's going to generate an icebreaker for all the three leads. Let's do that. As you can see here, the output says, hey, Devin, really admire what you're building at the APV agency in Quetta. See, the Devin was the first lead, right? Okay. Now, since the icebreaker has been uh, generated, now we need to add that icebreaker to this field in the Excel. Now we need to add in these icebreakers to the Google Sheet in here. Now the next node will be the Sheets. Now we need to update the Sheets because we don't need to create a row, we need to update the row. So update the row in Sheet. Okay, so this will be automatically fetched. We need to select the same thing, test leads, Sheet 1. And now this is important. We need to uh, first tell the system that, hey, you need to uh, add uh, the icebreakers to the you know, exact uh, lead, otherwise, but how does it know? So we need to map it correctly. So we are gonna say, since um, the names can be same sometimes, so it, it's kind of, uh, it may mess up sometimes, but the emails will always be different. So we are gonna help him using the emails. So let's, use the email section to match oh okay well we don't need other things the first name we don't need to update anything in these fields we need to update only the icebreaker so where is icebreaker this is the output from the previous node now if we click test it is going to update the icebreaker in the sheet let me show you let's do it as you can see here hey Devin uh, really admire hey Ryan so Hey Lee. So since we have added the icebreaker to the sheet, now what is the next step? Now we need to send an email, right? So to send an email, we need to use an AI chat model. So we're gonna use an AI agent. Same thing here, we need a system prompt, but before we do that, let's add a chat model. I'm gonna use open router, same thing. Now for the uh, system prompt message, you can use your own prompt message. I have my own, so you can copy this as well. This is the draft an email prompt. Okay. Let me paste it. Okay, some of the values doesn't work, and I think it's because of the these things. Let me just delete these. Okay, where is the first name? It's here. Oh, sorry. So you have to, you know, Design this prompt yourself, whatever you wish to, you know, generate. So I'm going to do this, the country. All right. Now everything is looks fine. So if I click generate, I mean the test, so it's going to generate an email, but not going to send yet. Let's go. Okay, I think it's generating. So we can see the progress. It has generated for one item two items and three items done. Now, let me show you. As you can see here, the email has been generated for all the leads, as you can see, subject and the body. But the problem here is, this does not give us a subject as a separate and the body as well. So what we need to do is, next, we need to add a code. So code uh, here, we need to tell something, uh, add some code, which tells uh, the previous output, hey, we need to extract the information separately, the subject and the body. So now uh, I will give you this code. So I have generated using this, uh, this code using the chat GPT. So you can do that as well. Or you can copy paste it, yeah. So let's paste it here and test the event. So as you can see here, the subject has been extracted a separate and the body as well. So it's working perfectly fine until now. So now we are ready to send an email. So to send an email, we need to add a Gmail node, or you can just uh, use any other email sending a node. Like for example, you can just send SMTP, use SMTP server. 
but here we're going to use a gmail let's click on send a message you have to set up an account and then do do it here it means that what where do we want to send an email so here we are going to use the email field and then the subject since already we have the subject separated that was the important step if we don't do it we will not have this as a separate and the type will be html it's fine or the body or the text which is not a problem okay so uh, let's just go with the message as a body right okay it seems perfectly fine let's test it once we test we can see all the emails will be sent and you can see in the in, in your email let's do it so all the emails have been sent let's see oh my god it's really worked so you can see here we have sent an email to this now what is the next step that we need to do the next step is we need to tell the system to update the status to done because we have already contacted the lead it is easy same thing sheets again so again we need to update the row select the lead list and the sheet number one same thing we need to map the column manually using the email where is it okay and drag and drop the email fields and after that you don't need all this detail we need only status we should say the status should stay done because we sh it should stay done but here it should be case sensitive because uh, remember that whatever that you have added here if it's like all caps you have to add you know exactly as it is since it's uh, all in lower caps so i have added done so if i test the event so every single lead should stay done there you go so that's it so if you have questions for me any doubts or anything that you want to ask you can drop in the comments so i'm going to answer every single comment for sure so i think so have a good day guys bye bye